Uh, Ronna, would you like to read the next one? <laughs> dearest Ronna, Brian, and Tracy, I have two questions surrounding the passing of a parent. I'm 31 years old and live in Brooklyn. My mother, a lifelong North Shore resident, excuse me, Marble. Ah, oh, by the way, Marblehead Brian was voted top three coastal towns to live in in uh, America. Pardon me. Well, I don't know who did the voting. They must have been catatonic. Me, me, me. My mother, (laughs) a lifelong North Shore resident, passed away in 2021 from breast cancer. I'm very sorry to hear that, dear. My parents are divorced, and I have found myself overwhelmed with boxes after we sold her home. How do you suggest one saves mementos, such as photographs, documents, and other sentimental items? I live in a small apartment, so the most I can do right now is put them in a box and stash them under my bed. Additionally, Trace, you have to tell them about your acid-free paper boxes in a minute. Additionally, how does one deal with the items that don't possess inherently sentimental value but do once someone has passed? That's a great question. For example, I have a floor lamp that is not my style and don't really have a place for it. Uh, But it was a gift from my mother for my very first solo apartment. I want to part with it but can't bring myself to take that step. Some background. My... Oh, yeah. My mother was a clinical hoarder. And for that reason- Oh, like clinically diagnosed, I guess. Yeah, yeah, but how about bringing this up at the end? Yeah, we didn't My mother was a clinical hoarder. And for that reason, I had a predisposition predisposition to not hold on to things, Tracy. My minimalist tendencies are now in direct contradiction to not wanting to throw out anything that my mother has touched. It feels like a betrayal. Thank you for any advice you may be able to impact. What a great, now that this, is really fascinating. This is fascinating. So there's a couple things going on. The there's emotional relationship with the hood the has passed rela- on. Exactly. And, you know, so clients say this. So one of the things that we do, a big part of our business is we clean out homes after someone's passed away. So we deal with this all the time. And the thing that people need to remember is that you don't want the stuff you want to keep the connection. You, you want that person still in your life. So we've sort of convinced ourselves, like, the more I keep, the less, you know, the less that they'll go away. And that they're not going to go away. I, um, the less I'll lose them. The less I'll lose Because they feel them. like and, they're slipping away. Yeah. Exactly. And also they feel like when they get, people feel like when they get rid of that stuff, they're going through it all over again. They're losing them another time. So yeah. it, it, it's... I'm going to imagine being the child of a hoarder that there's probably some um, unresolved feelings with that relationship, right? Because you could have loved them, but then there's a lot of anger and it's very difficult. And so now she's sort of left with all the stuff and she doesn't have an apartment for it. And it also doesn't really mean that much to her. So I think you get, I'm giving you permission to let it go. Keep six things. Keep the things that you love. That's the other thing. This is the other thing that makes me want to gnash my teeth to powder is people keep the stuff that upsets them. They keep the stuff that's the bad memories. Interesting. It's it's so, it's not respectful to the person who's passed and it's not respectful to you. Keep the things that, I had a client once, this is a little, you know, this is a, she had all these unicorns, all little like glass figurine unicorns all over her house. And it turned out, and I was like, they were everywhere. And I was like, do you love them? And she's like, well, I've just always had them. And it had turned out that she had been assaulted by, sexually assaulted by her uncle. And every time he did it, he bought her one of these. And she had a apartment. And I was like, oh, these are, like, we literally did a Viking burial in the background. I was like, these are going in the fire pit. Here's a hammer. Like, you know, so I think that when when we're working, you know, when we're left with stuff, it could be unresolved feelings. It could be, you know, but keep the stuff that makes you happy. Keep the memories. She said it. The lamp isn't her style anymore. Let it go. It's just a lamp. 